Yes, many. What do you want? Yeah, okay. Yeah, we are, Jack. Uh, many wants to go out the toilet. Yep. Yep. This boy at 11 years old is too dangerous to be allowed his freedom. I just saw a glance, a box of matches, and I was standing there, and there was a whole box of matches standing on the mountain piece. I just said, ah, I love them. So I just, you know, this cupboard, I just walked in, and there was a cupboard full of papers, and all so I said, this is too much temptation. I wasn't meaning to burn those things, you know, I said, this is too much temptation, it's got to happen. You know, it goes in my mind, I can't get rid of it, so I just, well, right, I'll do it. I set all the paper and was on fire. Mm -hmm. Then I went into this room, you know, where all blankets and that was, and I set the material on fire. So it was two rooms you set like. Mm -hmm. Then I went upstairs and set the beds on fire. It just so happened that there was a, a person in the house. Mm -hmm. That was your dad that time, was it? <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah. Michael, come on, yes. You've just come up with it again, haven't you? Yeah. Yeah, he's always working on No, sir. Been a good life? Aye. Uh, the I'll go in there to try to bring the good news to you. I'm not a person that lets everyone just say this and say, right, we're sticking with this and that's it. You don't let other people Telling me tell what we're sticking at you. and what we're doing. If I don't agree, I say I don't like doing it. You have your own opinions, mm. strongly. Mm. Whereas other people who don't get into bother don't have their opinions, Charlie. Uh -huh. Now, what do you think is better then? This is what I'm getting at. You feel it's better to be like you? Yes, it's getting us into trouble, but still, I'm not going to let everyone just say this and say that. Think about it. He was crucified yeah. for no reason. You shouldn't have said he was the king of all kings. But he was the king of all kings. Yeah, but you shouldn't go around telling anybody. She, she told us the same prayers, and I said, and I wouldn't say them. She tried to make you say prayers, and you? Wouldn't say them, so she gave us the strap. Did you keep refusing? Uh -huh. What did you say? I said, I don't like seeing prayers. You can't wait to see prayers. She says, you're here to learn. You do what you told her. I said, I'm not seeing prayers. She, she would try to force you to say them. Mm hmm So she gives us a strap. Never give in. I never in. God can see into your mind. God. Well, I believe that. I know. Because, I mean, there's far too much happened that you can't understand. Never we, that we this for me. There's got to be another person better than what we are. Never works for me. Hmm? He doesn't do mine for me yet. I see. And then, did it all burn down, this church? Half of it did. Half of it did? Mm. Were you disappointed? Mm-hmm. Would you like to all to have done? Mm hmm You know, you didn't like that school you were in. Had you ever thought of um, burning it? No. No? Or the headmistress? Too many kids in there. You wouldn't like to do it where there were people? No. That's good. Yeah. It's been, uh, it's been a good life, as I know, as usual. We never get in trouble on the weekend. Yes. Come on, man. It's a good life. Michael was admitted to Aycliffe School following a period of two and a half years at Redworth Hall Residential School for Maladjusted Children. He was referred to the school when aged eight years, following two offences of arson, one in his home and the other in a church. In January 1973, while in Absconder, Michael again set fire to his home knowing his father to be asleep upstairs. Two months later, he returned to the gutted house and set fire to what remained. During his time at Redworth Hall, Michael absconded 18 times. He received regular psychiatric oversight throughout this period. Why? And you may not be able to tell me the things I really want to know. In fact, I don't suppose you will be able to. Me? That's what you want. I mean, if I said, you tell me what's exciting about fires, you'd find that an impossible question to answer, I expect. You know, it just goes in my mind, you've got to do it. I've, I've got to make that fire in there. So I do this. Yeah. Do you often get that temptation? Aye. A lot of times. What do you think about it? Do you think it's a good thing to do? Mm-hmm. 
To me it is, but to other people it's not. And to other people it's not. Can you understand their point of view when you say that? Because people don't like having players set all, all over the place. Mm. Can you understand that? Yeah. Temptation goes through my mind, it can't come out. No, like, something's going me in this ear and come out that way, but it doesn't go in this side of me and come out that side. It goes in there and gets stuck there. What if you set a fire to somebody's house, though? Do you feel you should be allowed to do that? No. Nah, I wouldn't set fire to anybody else's house. Home has been the scene of Michael's problematic upbringing. There's a no possibility of the parents sitting right? in on this yeah. meeting. No. No, I'm afraid there never is in any of these yes. assessment meetings, no matter where they are, the parents are never included. Well, I think your dad hit you, didn't he? What did he hit you for? For being naughty. For being naughty. So you knew you'd been naughty, and yet you're still trying to stab him after he'd hit you for it. Huh? Well, well, how did he do it? That was wrong. In what way was it wrong? Because she used his fist. We've got to have some law and order in in this house that suits us. And if they do wrong, they've got to be punished. And I'll always punish them if they do wrong. Hard. <clears throat> Well, I can tell you what hasn't happened. You're not going back home. Uh, we're not going to send you back to an ordinary school. What is going to happen is that you're going to be at Hakeley for the next three or four weeks until we've found out exactly who's going to have you where. Mm -hmm. And then I promise to let you know myself. All right? Oh, I promise I will tell you where you're going. And who's going to be working with you? Okay? Yeah, I know. All right, well, as I said before, we don't think it would be right for you to go back to an ordinary school. It wouldn't be good for you, it wouldn't be good for other people. In view of the history of antisocial behavior and the serious risk that Michael presents to himself and to the community, he will require long-term treatment under conditions of physical security.